when a baby is born in british columbia you will have to get the birth registration done you could either come to this website or you can type birth registration british columbia and then select this government website all the link to the resource what i am going to show you in the video will be there in the description so you can go and find all this relevant information once you click on this you come to this page and here you see with the online birth registration you can also apply or register for canada child benefit social insurance number medical service plan now depending on parent status in canada certain things you will get to know what you are eligible for or if you are ineligible once you fill in the application so what is important is to fill the application correctly if a baby was born in hospital hospital will give discharge summary where it will have baby's name even if baby's name is not there baby's gender will be mentioned with mother's name for sure it will be mentioned and then date of birth the time of birth what the weight was what was the duration of pregnancy who the doctor was all this information you will get in this discharge summary so even if you don't have baby's name you will get this record and uh, you need to have baby's name before you can start with the registry only when you decide on baby's name you are ready for the birth registry if uh, uh, the birth happened uh, at birthing place or by midwife then they would provide you similar document this document has to be there with you when you are filling this registration of birth this document and most importantly baby's name you can see here all the details what is required are mentioned here if you do any mistake with baby's name in that case then you have to go through a legal name change process which you can avoid first time if you are doing it right also if you are planning to apply for canadian passport then you would need a long form of the birth certificate which most parents neglect or they are not aware then they have to wait to get this long form which itself takes 6 to 8 weeks plus canada post takes additional time so when you are applying when you are registering make sure you select this it cost money but it will save lot of time you don't have to wait again to get this for additional 6 to 8 weeks after you go through this process so i have made a video you can check the canada passport requirement and according keep all the documents ready in case you have any association with india and uh, you are looking to apply for oci for your kid i have made video on how to apply for oci so you can check that video to all the links as i said will be there in the description coming back to this page once we come down here you see register your newborn you click here then you come to this online birth registration and here again it shows along with the registration you can apply for the birth certificate then enroll for newborn's medical service plan social insurance number child canada child benefit and the birth certificate will take about 4 to 6 week to register and it can only be issued until the birth registration is done so birth certificate will be issued only after the birth registration so here the fee is given for the birth certificate you can look at this and once you click on these links this is the birth certificate with parents information if you don't want parents information on the birth certificate then this is the specimen where no parents information is there and these are the commemorative birth certificate so you can check these details once you click start here again you are asked the same detail if you have your discharge summary you have baby's name everything else you will have with you including the payment which you have to do to get the birth certificate then you come down and click register birth here on this online birth registration you will have to go through these uh, 17 steps as you can see eligibility then registrant place of birth child's detail mother's detail mother's address father parent detail then canada child again it depends on parents uh, status in canada and eligibility requirement once you go through and fill the detail you will get to know later if you are eligible or not then social insurance number the baby will get that medical service plan you will get the registration summary here make sure you are doing check recheck cross check check twice check thrice make sure there is no error in what you are filling and as i said with the detail what is there in the hospital discharge summary and baby's correct name you will not make any mistake once uh, the registration summary is seen you will be shown the sample birth certificate just like this it will have your baby's name date of birth sex place of birth then parent's name birth of parent name of parent birth
workplace of so you will be able to check the copy of birth certificate what you will get exactly what you entered is what you will see here so there is no way system can make mistake so when you are entering you can go and check the sample and still make any correction if you have to do once you have checked the sample birth certificate and you are sure that all the entries what is reflecting there are correct only then you go to the certified birth registration once that is done your registration is complete then you can order birth certificate for which you will have to do the payment and then you will get the final order summary something like all that you have submitted will be shown to you including the birth certificate if you have ordered so don't forget to get this certified copy of birth registration because that is one document which will go along with the passport application so friends i hope this helps you in case you have any question drop a comment and i'll be happy to share this thank you